right, Cinco de Mayo, great time to celebrate. And uh, Kelly, with our master mixologist, going to tell us how, right, Kelly? Yeah, exactly. Just another excuse for Dave Elgar to come in. You just find any excuse to come in and drink <laughs> with us. How these days, Cinco de Mayo. Exactly. And I'm going to give you a disclaimer right now. Dave's had a little tequila, as you can see here. So, well, being with that owner, being said, Kelly, being an owner of a tequila, mucho de tequila, I have been. Cinco de Mayo is like Christmas for me. I bet. I bet. It's the biggest holiday. So let's. So start what do we this. do? Just drink tequila because it's Cinco Absolutely. de Mayo. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And you know what? Different than some of those other holidays, you don't get pinched if you're not wearing right. a certain color. Right. Exactly. So this so is, this your is tequila. my tequila okay. muchote. And we're going to take it instead of a lime or a lemon after, we're going to do an orange with cinnamon. Try this. Okay. <clears throat> Try that. Cool. cool. That's good. Where'd you come up with that? I invented it. No, you just made it up? It's no, good. No. It's actually really good. The lime is going to be a that's little too, you know. That's what I do, Kelly. Exactly. Okay, yeah. so besides the shot, everybody can do a shot besides of Besides the shot, what everybody can do a shot, and everybody can do a shot of my tequila, right. mucho de tequila. <laughs> I came up with uh, the uh, sunburn, which we're using the um, Casa Noble tequila, a Blanco tequila, which is a not-aged tequila, so it's a silver tequila, okay. just with cranberry and a lime. Try That's really one. easy. So how much of it's each? It's very easy. Well, to your taste, but I usually do about half and half. I was going to say. Or like Dave does, about um, three-fourths yeah, tequila. I was going to say. And, uh, it's different for fourth. everybody. That is good. I like that. That's the So what do, you, I mean, what do you like between tequilas? Because I know that there are so many different kinds. We were talking off camera a little bit. Do you like certain tequilas over others? I definitely do. Well, I'm partial to my tequila, well, course, there, but yeah. I like tequilas that um, have the age with them mm -hmm. and have, um, there are so many tequilas that are about the fancy bottle nowadays, right. and uh, I like what's inside of the bottle, okay. not about the fancy bottle. All right. So, we'll go and I that. like something that's aged a little. Muchota tequila is aged for seven months in Jack Daniels. And you Merrill's. say you like Don Julio? I love Don okay. Julio. It was my favorite before I came up before with Before yours, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what's Try this one this. here? This is Nobleza tequila. It's a uh, reposado tequila, I think, or a uh, añejo tequila. I'm sorry. So añejo, it has to be aged at least 12 months. Mm -hmm. I mixed it with grapefruit soda. It's called the Paloma. Grapefruit soda, really? Very famous and very famous in Mexico. Okay. It's good too. Isn't that delicious? It is very good. Wow. We can go okay. on and on and on. I know. Let we need finish. to get the other crew back we in here. We need to finish with the um, puro margarita. Now, the puro okay. margarita, I took the time before while you were doing whatever you were doing. The news. There. Oh, yes. oh, right. I, uh, <laughs> I hand squeezed lemons and limes into here. Okay. This is a puro margarita. So I already took the liberty of squeezing that in, in there for you. Okay. I added a little bit of um, agave nectar. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to tweak it out a little bit, I brought the palma, the pomegranate liqueur. So if you okay. put a little bit in there, shake it up. Pour it out. I think you're gonna love this. How much do I put in? Just a scotch? Well, just a like that. A little, a little more. more. Okay. There you go. Kelly. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> it's Cinco de Mayo. Why not? Exactly right. right? A lot of people making drinks today, so That's mix that up, nice and Shake easy. Shake that up and then strain it in there. I'll let you do that. No, I'll let you do okay, it. Okay, fine. Well, you wanted to. Well, I always spill. See, I just spilled. I'm not very good at this. What was your favorite tequila so far here? The first one. Ah, of course, the first one. Yeah. Exactly. See the different colors in this? Though? No, this That's looks the good. cool thing about it. Garnish it with a little lemon right there. Nice summer drink. That's the puro margarita. All the recipes are on hotmixology.com. I'm going to put them on there for you guys. Perfect. And uh, everybody can go there and enjoy their Cinco de Mayo. You have some we great do. recipes, too. Check out his website. It's a good one. And be safe tonight if you're drinking. Be careful. We'll Sorry. be right back. Let's go to Federal. There you go. Yeah. 60s. Kelly? Dave, come on in here. Try one of these drinks for Cinco de Mayo. Come on in. I'm making it. I'm making it. You've already had a few <laughs> off camera a little it's, bit. It's like a mile from over there where I exactly. work. Exactly. So. Cinco de Mayo, yeah, which fun. is great. I'm glad you made it. So yes. Yeah. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you, Dave, Salute for coming in. Salute. Chris. Nice to see yeah. you. Thanks for coming in. Again, all of his Thank videos on our website. His videos? His recipes? His recipes and his recipes. Oh, his videos. Every, if you want to watch it again and yeah. again, you can do that. Ooh, this is good. That's Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. What, what holiday should we create for next week so I can come back? What's up next? Mother's Day is coming up. Memorial Day. Oh, let's do Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Day. On Monday Mother's Day. After Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Mimosas or something, right? Have a great night, everybody. I heard you make a tequila. Is that what I heard?